Pittsburgh. Please sit down if you have a seat. And 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 John, thank you uh, very much for uh, for running. I really do appreciate it. And Zell, you're gonna you're gonna be a great uh, a great lady in the Senate. As I said before, that America is the only country in the world that comes out of crises stronger than we went into the crisis. And that's the story I want to tell here today briefly. Just nine months ago, January 28th of 2022, when I was here in January, I told the governor that we'd help and we'd be help rebuild this bridge behind us as fast as we possibly could. That day, the governor moved and signed an emergency order that let us move separate federal funding as quickly as possible to the project. The reason we could do that is because I had just signed the infrastructure law a few months earlier. But had we waited for that money, it would have taken longer. The governor knew he could count on the new law to fund other projects to ensure the projects he already had started for infrastructure in the state would not be slowed down in the process. The result? Pennsylvania has been able to repair Fern Hollow Bridge in less than a year. And by Christmas, God willing, we'll be walking. I'm coming back to walk over to sucker. My staff said to me, you realize how many times you've been to Pittsburgh? I said when I ran, we're going to build a country from the bottom up and the middle out, not the top down. When the middle does well, the wealthy do very well. So this law is about more than rebuilding our infrastructure. It's about rebuilding the middle class. Something John knows a lot about and talks a lot about. And let me tell you, I'm a proud Delawarean, but Pennsylvania is my native state. It's in my heart. I can't tell you how much it means to me to be part of rebuilding this beautiful state. My grandfather, Finney Grimms, can't really be proud of me right now. No, I'm not joking. He would. By the way, he's an All-American football player, John, in Santa Clara. You know, I started my campaign for president here in Pittsburgh because there's no better place to talk about rebuilding the backbone of America, the middle class. After I accepted my party's nomination, Pittsburgh was my first major stop. It's here that I laid out my vision for building a better America with better pay and dignity, dignity for working people, people who built this country. My dad used to say everybody, everybody should be treated with dignity no matter what they're, where they're from. Because here's what I know. For most of the last century, we led the world by a significant margin. We're back on track. When you see these projects in your neighborhoods, the cranes going up, shovels in the ground, I want you to feel the way I feel. Pride. Pride in what we can do when we work together. And that's what I mean when I say we're building a better America.